how is it going everybody for our very first video on mlb the show 20 we're gonna be talking about hitting tips not only about in the game how to work on timing and everything like that but also monitor settings and maybe some third party if you want to call them utensils or devices whatever you want to call them we'll get to that shortly if you're looking for daily actually double daily uploads of gameplay content tips tricks all that good stuff even news hit that subscribe button be sure to turn on the notifications as well so again if you've been here since the channel of 19 we are gonna have to move the face cam because how this game plays now in the bottom right hand corner of your screen is where we were naturally always at but in the bottom right hand side of your screen is where the scoreboard now is as opposed to the top left if i'm not mistaken so again this will be our new spot moving forward so real quickly before we get into the timing and rhythm of how to hit a fastball and then adjust to off speed we're going to talk about these settings and right here hitting difficulty again doesn't matter because if you're playing online i'm assuming that's why you're here it doesn't matter what you're playing at because your rating is what determines that so hitting view strike zone some people like to get fancy and use strike zone two maybe even strike zone three but again my personal preference and what i would advise others to use is strike zone the regular and default it's been in the game since at least 16 that i'm aware of and i bet you it's been in even longer but again strike zone is the go-to hitting view in play view offense doesn't matter i stick with dynamic just because sometimes i'm lazy to change it all trail hitting interface is where it matters the most please if you're on this video you're using zone hitting directional if you're just trying to be casual you don't really care about getting better you're playing the game to play the game hey no knock on that go do your thing but if you're trying to get better at the game 110 percent you need to use hitting interface of zone for those of you who may not know what hitting interface zone is zone is what puts a pci on your screen and that is how you're going to be hitting the ball it takes more skill but it is a lot more rewarding so with the input type you want buttons you don't want to use analog and here is where you yourself get to be an artist you get to be creative this year with the new pci plate coverage indicator it is now fully customizable so what i mean by that you get to become the artist is the fact you can choose what is in the center of your pci what is in the inner part what is in the outer part what color do you want how transparent do you want it and i'll tell you what i'm using so again i've had my hands on the game for about a day and this is what i've personally stuck with and have learned to like although i'm sure we'll be making adjustments in the future but right now this is my early thoughts on it for the pci center you want circles for the pci inner you want wedge pci outer just basic pci color yellow pci transparency 70 and pci fade out on the outer rim of your pci that way again aim small miss small the smaller you could create that pci and give yourself a more focused point the better at least again in theory that's the way it works for me now unlike years past the pci centerpiece of wedge the reason why i loved wedge the most in 18 19 is the fact you only had one dot and that gave you a true focus point of where to hit that ball but the problem with this year unless i've skipped over something or haven't found it your pci center can only be of three so they definitely did a change on that this year altitude it gives you three slash marks none you have no reference point in the center of your pci which some people do like go ahead and test these out and see what you like some people may like diamonds but for me i like circles because again it's at least still a circle it's what i'm used to i'm kind of like a boomer not a big fan of change so again as i talked about the pci inner being wedge that's what i've always liked I, fishbowl and starfighter and basic and all the other ones i would kind of be amazed that people would go to that however everyone's got you know it's 31 flavors we all like what we like pci outer basic it is what it is i mean you don't want it to get fancy pci color this will literally all be preference and you know again as i said i'm not a big fan of change i like yellow but if you love change go ahead and change that color you got orange you got red you got magenta you got violet you got blue you got ocean another blue you got cyan green spring green black white i've heard some other content creators use white i'm actually interested in trying that it seems interesting to me especially with the transparency which we'll get to in just a second but for right now I'm sticking with the traditional yellow so a pci transparency i'm using it at 70 percent i do like to see through it a little bit you could even maybe even cut it down to 50 but if you're somebody who starts their pci low and in, in or middle in where it's not blocking the picture you could use it at 100 if you like however this is where 
it gets the most interesting if you're somebody who starts the pci high and in you're probably going to want that transparent transparency to go kind of as far down as you can stand because that way the pci is not blocking the picture anymore that's why people would usually use reticle as opposed to wedge in years past that way that dot in the middle of the pci isn't blocking the picture but now with transparency you could probably i mean i haven't tested it out we'll go ahead and test it out while we're in the game that way i can give you an idea of what that may look like but again i'm someone who starts my pci low and in not high and in you started high and in you may want to mess with the transparency the most so everything that they've added to the pci being customizable is cool and all i'm not gonna lie it's cool but this is the one to me that is the most important as you get higher in the ratings and you are playing on legend hall of fame those type of difficulties you're used to a smaller pci you're used to having again the aim small miss small type pci and when the new season starts and you go down to rating 650 you're back in all-star where the pci is drastically different compared to legend so where the pci fade out that i love like you said this is the coolest thing that they've added this year the pci the outside of it goes away so all i am seeing is the inner and center of my pci no longer the outer rim it makes the pci smaller it makes me so happy that when i'm on all-star i don't have this pci that covers the whole plate and i get add and have zero idea what i'm doing so as we have talked about those settings when it comes to monitor settings i've been asked this all the time and just to briefly touch up on it other than changing some lighting settings on it there's not much to it i mean certain monitors we all have our own different tastes in that as well and for me i kind of like how my asus uh 28 inch monitor is stock i mean again I, I adjusted some brightness settings a little bit but other than that not too much obviously though as we are still talking about monitors i will always highly recommend if you're someone who's on a budget but still looking to get into the market of a monitor the best monitors that you could get that are one millisecond because that is what you want if you're willing to spend money you could obviously use other brands but i'll put the link in the description down below if you are uh, looking for one millisecond monitors that way you can react to the fastball better the off speed get better reads everything the more time the better and those monitors are going to be the bang cues you could usually find them on amazon for about 130 150 bucks and they definitely get the job done that's the monitor that i used to start off with have nothing but positive reviews on that now again another link that will be in the description down below will be about control freaks now for those of you who are not aware of what a control freak is it is a third-party device that you could get and it's relatively cheap so that is good news you could get what i'm about to recommend for about 10 15 bucks again you could get it on amazon or you could get it straight from their website if you got amazon prime not only will i plug my twitch here as well but you could get two uh, free two-day shipping which will be huge but what a control freak is again it just goes on your controller it's something that is just that big it goes on the analog and will i say it makes the biggest difference not only in mlb but if you're playing first person shooters they work great there too those control freaks that i'll be recommending again the link is in the description down below there's not too much to talk about as i said it goes on your analog and the more you use it the more you get comfortable with it and it allows you to make finer more acute adjustments and those ones that i recommend are going to be the cqc's again link in the description down below and again real quickly as i almost forgot i do use them for both hitting and pitching that is a personal preference i've heard some people use it strictly for hitting and not pitching some will use it on both i am somebody who uses it for both now here is actually a setting hopefully you didn't skip ahead because this is something i've never really seen too often in hitting tip videos now as this is a brand new game and i haven't had a crazy amount of time to mess with it game resolution is something you should highly consider turning down at least in years past when you would play on sharper which is 2160p or if you would play on balance 1440p there was definitely some frame loss and it just didn't feel right it felt like the ball would get on you quicker everything seemed to be quicker because certain things just weren't right certain things were missing so if you turn it down all the way to 1080p where it will play and run at its best you essentially get more time because it just runs smoother so again as it is not at a much higher resolution rate it's at a better frame rate essentially now here's the part of the video that you guys are probably the most eager to hear about and this is how to get better what do what are things that you could truly do to get better work on your timing work on your pci placement 
and good news there's two things those two things will be challenge of the week this is something that i always recommend to people because not only do you get to constantly test yourself at different difficulties as you get more and more points and get higher and higher up you will also move up in difficulty so you basically get to know where you are sitting at what is your you know most optimal difficulty essentially how good are you the best part about challenge of the week is the fact as you get better as you progress yes you're seeing results but you also get something for it as you see for the very first week you could get a signed javi bias jersey you, for second place you could get a signed javi bias bat and for third place a ball now for those of you who may be going well i'm not gonna hit first i'm not gonna hit second i'm not gonna hit third even better news a don't be so negative because you never know but b fourth to 10 place you could get 15k stubs especially right now a 15 dollar value that is valuable 11th to 20th place you get 10k stubs 21st to 40th place you'll get 5k stubs one thing i have noticed is that they have actually gone down in value it used to be like 41st through 100 would get 10k but so there is some adjustments there but 41st to 100th place you at least still get a challenge of the week exclusive pack who knows what's in that pack because again this is the first week they haven't even given out anything i imagine it may be along the lines of a standard pack so again it's at least still something that you can do and talking more about challenge of the week as i said earlier as you go through the ratings and you keep doing better and better you have three strikes and then you're out you can foul the ball off as many times and as you continue to get hits line drives will give you a multiplier of three a home run will give you a multiplier of four and a i think those are basically it there is no other multipliers if you watch a ball you do get a multiplier of two so it is something that does test your patience it is something that tests your eye it is something that tests how good your pci and timing is and again so every time you get four hits in that difficulty you will go up so it goes from veteran to all-star actually i think there might be a rookie in there too at least last year there was so it could go from rookie to veteran over to all-star hall of fame and then the legend difficulty which is all the way at the top so every time you get four hits in each difficulty without getting three strikes because then you're out you'll upgrade to that next difficulty which again your multiplier keeps going up you keep getting more points and that's how you get yourself on top of this leaderboard secondly custom practice if you don't really care for all that fancy stuff and you just care i want to get as much repetition as possible because i promise you in challenge of the week you get repetition you could fly through that stuff you're only batting you don't have to worry about anything you could still come all the way over here to custom practice if you don't really care again for the prizes and everything you could come over here pick your teams we'll go ahead and do that we'll do the angels versus astros and then we'll go ahead dive deep into it so the cool thing about custom practice is you can actually control everything that is going on here you could choose right there you click create a play you could choose that i'm practicing on batting obviously here you can practice on pitching if you want to not too many people do that but you can if you're somebody who like me sometimes struggles with pitching this wouldn't be a terrible idea either but we are going to be using our lineup we're going to have listella leading things off and now we're going to talk about the click 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 method so now as you see here there is the really big pci and when he starts his motion you see this small pci which again for me i love that i want to be able to see an aim small miss small and okay, we're in the one two count so let's talk more about this click 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 method which will allow you to be on time more get those perfect perfects which sound amazing and in 10 online rated games that i played every perfect perfect was a hit except for one so how this click 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 method works for me again you can do it kind of however you want it's meant to have timing it's supposed to give you rhythm for that fastball the way i do my timing is the separation of the pitcher's hands to the drop of his front foot all the way to the timing of the fastball so again separation of the hand drop of the foot timing of the fastball there's a click click and click line drive off his butt cheek good good as you get this down you'll be able to get a lot of perfect perfects just like you would be trying to time up a fastball in real life that's the point of the on deck circle you're timing up that pitcher you're trying to get the rhythm you're trying to have an understanding of what to expect we're going to drive that to deep center we are tad underneath that still good good and it is just going to be a deep fly all the way to the wall which would still be a sack fly just to reiterate it is the separation of the hands the pitcher's hands coming apart that will be your first click his drop of the front foot which is the one that you were seeing again in the front when that drops that is your second click the third click is that timing of the fastball 
it's a three-step method that I would use in real life and I did use in real life especially towards the end of my high school college career highly recommend it give it a try stick with it it's not something that's going to instantly click for you but it is something that will make a huge difference as you see right there oh yeah yeah going deep right off the foul pole you love to see that now something that I do want to point out to people that may be now wondering well how do I time up an off-speed pitch that is where the skill gap will be set in this game I could teach you how to time up that fastball but as you have played the game more you'll recognize not only in certain counts a pitcher will try and give you a pitch maybe the o2 count it's probably safer to gamble you're gonna see some off speed again each pitcher or each opponent that you'll be facing has their tendencies and their go-tos especially in a video game you can pick up on it pretty quick so again just to reiterate the timing that you will be seeing right there with the perfect perfect you will have to play the game there is no secret from adjusting from that third click to adjusting to the off speed this is a real life method and in real life you see batters flail all the time don't be afraid to swing and miss i do it all the time as well now that we've covered a timing method for you to use we need to also figure out where you feel the most comfortable setting your pci again pci standing for plate coverage indicator some people love to start their pci high and in and this is why i said transparency would be a good it's a good tool for this year but i've always noticed for myself going from high to low i would always overextend the pcis i'll try and do it right here when i would go from high to low i would constantly drop under the ball so i'd find myself missing a lot of mistake pitches down the middle I would be on time for that inside fastball but i would miss a lot of mistake pitches so that's why i'll recommend to you guys and what i use is starting my pci just a little low and in just a little pull give it a little drag that way you know there's a little tension on that uh controller the analog with that little tension that makes the world of difference as opposed to going from a stagnant position and then trying to react you have a little bit of tension it's much easier to move that pci but again if you are somebody who has mastered the art of starting the pci high and in and you know that's where you're going to want to be but you're just here for timing good you already got it but again if you're somebody who has just started the game i will tell you again the other cool thing is in real life they talk about a launch angle and it is going from low to high that's essentially what you're doing with the pci you're creating that launch angle so you do avoid double plays more often as opposed to starting the pci high and dropping it low i could at least almost assure myself i'm always underneath the ball more often than not because don't get me wrong i hit into my fair share of double plays but it used to be worse case in point still definitely possible if they throw an absolute dot but again having the pci start low and you're going to high you're creating that angle get yourself underneath it hit a line drive it's a good plate approach now also one thing that i will recommend is it is easier to train yourself to go from a really high pitch speed down to a low pitch speed as opposed to practicing on a difficulty such as rookie or veteran where it is a much slower difficulty so again i was just showing this on rookie we're gonna see what it is like and do the click click method again on legend difficulty this will be my first time ever playing legend on this brand new game i have zero idea what this speed is about to look like but i'll show you how that timing method works now that one i'm not gonna lie i did that in my head we're gonna we're gonna do that better that way you guys can hear it get an example of what i'm looking at but you see perfect perfect right here there's a click there's a click there's a click there pulls go yard two we got a fastball we just missed it but as you see on legend the room for error is much much smaller and that's where your pci placement will matter the most so again last time for good measure separation of hands first click 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 get a fastball right down the middle make it super easy on me perfect perfect it's ar6 it is a tank that is how you want to drive the ball you want to be able to drive the ball to all fields and that again is another thing that will take time in learning inside pitches you need to be just a hair earlier down the middle you get a little bit more lead way for room where or lead way for air because you could pull the ball you could be a little bit later you could drive to center you could go to all fields with it outside pitch though you need to sit back a little bit longer drive it the other way especially this year with something that the uh that i hear people complain about all the time which is the auto shift feel free to beat it if you don't want to see your opponent use that on you take the free double if they give you the outside pitch because even mike trout this year in this game has auto shift if they give you 
that right side for free burn them every time they give you the outside pitch sit back drive it that way maybe even be okay with being a little bit later on a pitch down the middle take the free double it's free bases so in the comment section if there's anything you feel like that i overlooked didn't talk about feel free to let me know and then i could make a video number two if i see it as it's heavily important or i could try and add it in this video pin a comment that where i go that's a good point i'll explain it in this thread if you feel, again it felt like there's something i missed please let me know but thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all have a good day thank you